So I was searching on Reddit the other day, and you know, one of the top posts was an Ask Reddit. Uh, I think it was like, gamers of Reddit, what are you playing today? So I commented on it because somebody had mentioned Factorio and City Skylines, and there was this great post earlier on about this guy that had made this really crazy road network, and people were saying it looked like something out of Factorio. So I started this little discussion, and people were telling me how this, it's this great, you know, amazing, but really addictive game. And I was like, eh, I probably shouldn't look into it then. I probably shouldn't start it because I might get a little bit too hooked onto it. And then somebody came along and said this right here. So she goes, what's your Steam account? I mean, you can never say no to a gift, right? LOL. Lol. I mean... I guess not. So guys, I made maybe the mistake of allowing her to send me this gift and I thought maybe tonight we could just jump on into uh, giving this game a run for the very first time. So I actually looked up a YouTube video that was just giving you a few tips on the basics. So I'm gonna kind of skim through that and then kind of try to follow along and play the game and get the basics set up for the first time. So, uh, you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and take uh, my very first look at Factorio. All right, it says cropping bitmaps. Nothing too exciting right now. We're just kind of in the loading screen. Had kind of this ominous music loading in there. Okay, first thing I am bombarded with is an update uh, log. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, okay, op awesome. All kinds of cool stuff. Uh, let's do graphics, full screen. This is a really, like, like, low, um, resolution and kind of, it's like a 2D game, basically. Uh, so I'm not going to mess with anything too much. I can do that later. Let's go ahead and, well, I want to get started. So let's go back here. Let's go to play new it was campaign or new game let's see the difference well let's take a look at this dude's video uh, and see what he has to say all right so shout out to what's this guy's name here pixel white for setting up this cool little uh intro so you video just here got the game and started playing or are i'm not sure which one you did wondering what the hell is going on and what you're supposed to do what's the difference and between start new game players, right and you came to the right place campaign mode one thing I want to cover is the first 10 minutes of gameplay so let All me right. just jump right into it now okay so he wants to cover the first 10 minutes of gameplay let's go ahead and see if we can just start a game ourselves and then figure it out from there all right guys let's just do uh play let's do new game all right that looks similar to what he's got um resource settings he kind of turned some stuff up so maybe I should do that let's uh let me double check what that dude had it set to and then we will uh, kind of set it to what he had. All right, he has everything except the uranium set to high. So I'm just going to kind of copy his settings there and uh, turn all these up. He turned all these to very good as well. And so let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'm sure that'll help me uh, get started here. Basic settings. Um, enemies never attack first. Maybe I'll try that out in the future. Uh, all right, uh, let's go ahead and jump on into it here guys. Oh one last thing. That's right He did rich resources So let's go ahead and oh, what's generate preview? Oh Awesome. It gives us like a kind of cool little look at our map here All right, let's close that and let's generate I Imagine that basically means play right it gets us into actually playing the game here. Okay. Tips and tricks, additional info, alt mode. All right, next. Transport belts of two sides. Left and right sides of the belt can be used for different resources. Cool. Five belt take things on both sides. Okay, cool. Water, boiler connection, steam flows out of the steam output connection, all kinds of good stuff. Water can flow through a boiler's water connections, allowing compacts and simplified power setups. Left mouse button on electric pole to show statistics of the electric network. Oh man, this game is really complex. Um, furnaces, placing tiles. I'll probably take some more time when I'm not doing a video here to like skim through this and make sure I understand everything a little bit better. Um, but let's go ahead and 
Yeah, let's close that and let's get started. Okay, this factory of free play, launch a rocket into space, make a rocket silo with a satellite. All right, cool. Tab. Is there a pause? Okay, that's pause. All right, let's see how this guy does it here. You came to the right place. Okay. One thing I want to cover is the first 10 minutes of gameplay, so let me just jump right into it now. I'll discuss some deeper issues later in the video. Once you've created a world, you're dumped into the starting zone. Note that most starting zones are similar. A little bit of water, a little bit of wood, and then whatever you set for the resources. Large, small, rich, thin, etc. At the very beginning of the game, you're starved for resources. To get things going, you need iron, copper, coal, and stone. Okay. Two of those can be very so quickly obtained for. by mining huge rocks. There are usually a few about in your starting area, so head to them and mine them up. Alright, let's start with that. And it looks like he did something like equipped a pick or something there. I'm probably going to mess it up, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Alright, how do I even move? Okay, WASD, easy enough. E is inventory. Um, crafting. He made an axe. How do I equip it now? Transport belt. Okay, these are all things I can equip. Combat. Oops. All right, well, can I pick this up? How do I mine it? Right click. Okay, cool. Mining stuff. Getting started here. I got some stone. Okay, so he said I need what is like stone and some other thing. Um, I must have that pick going because the guy is smacking things with a pick, right? Guess I can zoom in and out too. Well, I can zoom way out. Cool. Okay. Uh, this is good right about there. Uh, let's move along. And that is a big sandy rock. It's probably going to give me more stone, right? What was the other thing he said I needed? Um, so I got iron. I got stone. Let's move along here. What's this? Is that water? That must be water. Yeah, well, this game definitely isn't demanding on my computer. Ooh, wood. I think that was another thing that I needed, right? Okay, cool. Got some wood. Got some wood. Got some wood. Um, is there a little bit more somewhere? What's over here? Ooh, iron. There's a ton of it. Looks like I could sit here and mine it for hours, right? Um, probably not the best thing to be doing right now. Well, I got some of the basic stuff now, so let's go ahead and see uh, what he said to do next. One trick is that mining goes much faster if you have an iron pick. Okay, so he's it's talking about the iron pick. spend some of your starting plates on an iron pick. Okay, I did There's that. There's only three options here, your fists, an iron pick, or a steel pick. You can see which you have equipped down on the bottom right corner Wait, of the what's screen. He building? Of the eight icons Stone there, the one in the drill. top left slot is your pick. The most important resource in the game is iron. You'll use more of that than of any other resource. Okay. Head to the iron ore patch and plop down your mining drill and right next to it a steel furnace. Okay, let's start with that. So head to the iron ore patch, that's where it was. Plop down a mining drill and a steel furnace. Let's do it. Okay, so here I am. Um, production, boiler, stone furnace. What was the other thing? Transport belt. Steam engine. Mining mining drill. Oh, I need uh, more stuff, right? Okay, wait. Stone furnace and... What was the other thing? Let me go double check that. Use more of that than of any other resource. Head to the iron ore patch and plop down your mining drill and right next to it a steel furnace. Okay, so he said mining drill and steel furnace. So let's do that, if I can figure that out. Um, do I see a mining... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I don't have enough for that yet, so I must need to get more stuff. Okay, so in order to do that, I right-click it, right? So I'm trying to build a... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. A mining drill. I need iron plates... Iron gears and iron electronic circuits. Okay, cool. How do I get more iron? Right now I'm getting iron ore. How do I turn iron ore into a plate? 
Wooden chest transfer code. Man, this game is complicated. Okay, there we go. Iron plate. This recipe cannot be crafted by hand. So what do I do? Do I have to build one of these things first? Let me go double check what this guy did. Let's take another look at that. Because I'm kind of confused here. This game's really overwhelming. At least to get started here. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. Pick. You can see what you have equipped down on the bottom right corner of the screen. Of the Burner eight icons there, drill. the one on the top left slot is your pick. The most important resource in the game is iron. You'll use more of that than of any other resource. Head to the iron ore patch and plop okay. down your mining drill and right next to it a steel furnace. Oh, he did the burner mining drill. That's a different kind. That's probably why. Okay, let's try that out again. See if I can figure it out here. Okay. Burner mining drill. Iron gear wheel. How do I make an iron gear wheel? Okay, cool. That's how. Awesome. Figuring it out. Feels like I'm playing WoW. Mining some ore. <laughs> Actually, it looks a little bit more like RuneScape, to be honest. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, not enough ingredients. Uh, okay. Oh. So how do I make more iron plates, then? What do I do to make iron plates? Stone furnace, maybe? Not be crafted by hand. So what do I make order to do that oh there it is they've already got one okay I see awesome okay so put that here and then I constructed extra furnaces which I probably didn't need to do um, does it matter which side I put it on? Oh, up there. I think that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Okay, cool. Alright, what do these say to do next? Let's go double check. Make sure there's coal on the drill on the furnace and let them run for a while. If you need okay. to rotate the drill to make sure the output arrow points into the furnace, press the R key. Okay. You can wait around for a while for more iron plates to be finished smelting. Now you're going to wait, want maybe about uh, eight total drills and six furnaces, so build what you can by hand. Note that a drill requires a furnace, which means that one furnace is consumed when you create a drill. If you don't have the intermediate product already built and you queue something up using the manual build interface, the intermediate object will be automatically queued and built for you. Sounds complex. Okay, let's see if I can figure out a little bit more of this uh, just kind of by hand. Okay, so these guys need to be facing each other, and it looks like they're not... How do I deselect this? Okay. Um... No, it's facing it, right? So what else do I do? Shouldn't they be working already? Fuel. Iron? Wood? Okay. I gotta put wood in there. I see. Man, this game is complicated. Okay, I gotta put wood in there too, huh? Or no, what does he need? He needs... That? 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 Fuel? There we go. I see. Okay. Making all kinds of cool stuff here. Alright, then I can take that, put it back in my inventory. I could probably split stacks, huh? Yeah, do three. Three in there. And then three in there, right? And then... I guess I want to build more stuff. I need iron gear wheels and iron plates. More iron ore in order to do that. Iron ore there. So I keep mining some more. Now. 
Oh, it's making iron plates. Okay, and then I take it out of here. I see. That's cool. Oh, and then that one just turns, like, wood into iron ore. I see. Okay, so if I go get more wood, smack this right here, chop it down a little bit, put it in here. It makes more iron ore for me. And then this one makes iron plates. And can I make it make iron gear wheels? Does that work? I don't know. I'm a little bit confused here. But anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so now I've got those. I've got... I can make a boiler. I can make another burner. And another stone. Two stone furnaces, two burners. Okay. Burner is going to go there. Furnace is going to go there. There. Oh, over here, actually. And furnace will go there. Okay, cool. I'm getting started here. Got my basic thing set up. Okay, I gotta get used to WASD for moving. I keep trying to, like, click. It feels like I'm playing Diablo or something. Alright. Um, okay, so he said to get, like, four of them set up. Right? So does that mean I need to go get more wood? Like, is that more important right now? Let's get some more here. Chop down some more trees. I'm gonna need some fuel, right, for uh, whatever that was, whatever you call those things. I'm, it's gonna take me a while to get used to all the names here. All right, raw wood, raw wood. This is a big one. This will hopefully give me a lot, maybe. No, it doesn't. Okay, it just takes longer. Oh, is did my pick break or something? Is that why? Maybe that's why it's taking longer. Repair pick. Okay, now what I need to do here is give this some wood, right? Put that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. And iron plates. Does that work or does it just make iron ore? Is that, that must be what it does. Okay. And these guys are fueled by iron ore? No, that's not right. Are they fueled by wood too? I think they are. Okay, got another furnace. Oh, I need uh, one of the other things first. The drill or whatever it is. Burn and drill. Okay, I need more, three more wheels in order to do that. Alright, so I think... Oh yeah, I gotta... Uh, well, let's put this back down here. Character... Okay, so this guy... I see. He gives, he's got plates, and then I take it from him. And then can I make one more of these? Yeah. And does that allow me to make one more of these? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we're kind of at where he wanted us to be at. Um, we got that there. And then got this guy here. Alright, awesome. So that's the four of each set up. Let's go ahead and keep watching that video now. Alright. You get some coal by mining huge rocks, but now it's time to place some drills on the coal. Okay. As you're going to be consuming a huge amount of coal eventually. Head over to the coal patch and place two drills facing each other. Okay. This configuration only takes one piece of coal to get started and will run until both drills are full of coal. Okay. Which means 50 coal each. Okay, so next thing we gotta do is go over to coal patch face two drills towards each other. All right, let's get moving here. Um, I think the coal patch is gonna be one of these things down here, right? Looking at the map, probably one of the other. Yeah, okay, there's coal. So uh, in order to do that, I need two drills. I need more stuff. I need to make more stuff to do that. 
So I gotta go back up here and uh, take a look at what I got here. I think I need more wood, right? Or something like that. And I feel like he got this set up so much more smoothly than me. Take this out of here. Now I have it in here. Okay, I need iron plates for that. Yeah, so I need more wood first. So let's go get more wood for fuel. Chop this stuff down. It's going to take forever. I broke that pick, I guess. Apparently. Something like that. Anyway. Chopping down some wood. Pretty boring. Pretty boring part of the game, I say. Oops! I switched over for a second and totally messed me up. Alright, but I guess it's uh it's necessary to do this. Alright, let's see. Some raw wood, some more raw wood. Let's get like one more tree after this. Hopefully that'll be enough to get me started here. So now this stuff, I need to make iron plates. So, hmm. There we go. So put like five in there. And then iron ore to, what's the result? Plate. That's what I want. Okay. Okay, put five in there, put iron ore in there, okay, next one, put five in there, put iron ore in there, alright, let's do it for this guy too, uh, let's take some of this out, put it into this one, alright, awesome. Okay, so these... Yeah, he's got some plates for me now, as does this one. Let's keep fueling this guy. He's got some for me too. All right, got a ton of iron plates now. And I think I'm gonna need. What do I? What else do I need? Um, to make wheels. So I want to make two more burner drills. I've got everything I need now, it looks like, to make two more burner drills. So let's go back down to the uh, hatch down there that he was talking about. Of uh, Is it coal or something? Yeah, coal. Yeah, I can mine a little bit of it, but it's really slow. So he said two drills and have them face each other. I think I need to mine a little bit of coal. He mentioned, like, having to put one piece of coal in there or something like that. So this is probably gonna take forever, but uh, I think it's necessary in order to do what uh, our little guide guy was asking for us here. So, so far it looks like it's a pretty slow, boring setup for this game, but you know, once you get the hang of it, I think it'll probably go a lot faster. Uh, a lot of people that play this game have had really positive, awesome things to say about it. So I imagine once you kind of get into the flow of things, it's a little bit more entertaining. All right, there's my one coal. Here's my other thing there. And then he said, just put a piece of coal in there. Um, and he said that should get them going, right? Okay, cool. And they should just mine coal now, apparently, I guess. Awesome. All right, well, that's what he asked for. So let's go ahead and uh, jump back into that video and see what to do next. You'll also need a bit of okay. copper, but not nearly as much copper, as copper as iron. If you've got two drills and two furnaces uh, spare and ready to go, head on over to your starting copper patch. Place the two drills and two furnaces down. Make sure they all have coal and let them run. Okay. If you, if you ever run out of coal, the benefit of the starting area is that it shouldn't be a long run back to the coal patch to pick up more. Okay. So two drills and two furnaces. 
at uh, the other resource. Okay, so we just got to find where that field is. Um, whoops. I imagine it's copper. That's what we want over there. Yeah, that's the one he mentioned. Uh, pretty intuitive as far as, you know, the map goes. Honestly, uh, I probably should have stuck around here. But anyway, um, so I can make a drill. I can make a drill. I can make a furnace. I can make a furnace. And let's put down the drill. And let's put down the furnace. And let's put down the other drill. And let's put down the other furnace. And then you mentioned uh, doing a piece of coal in there to get it started, I think. Um, so I think in order to do that, I probably got to go back down here and pick up some stuff from these guys. Nice. Cool. All right, uh, this one has 16, let's take half. This one has probably the same amount, let's take half. All right, and then we run back over to this copper area. And I think we just put a piece of coal in each, if I'm not mistaken, is what he said. And then that should uh, get us started for this. So which one do we put it in to these guys? Yeah, it looks like it. Oops, I need to take half of that, put it back in there. Put some in there. All right, looks like they're working. And I think that's pretty much it. So let's see what he says to do next. Now you've got three sets of okay. drills running. Yeah, three run sets of drills from running. Just one to the next to the next, picking up what materials are done. Control click sure to pick up, okay. Making sure you're stocked with fuel and craft a few more drills and furnaces. In my case, I saw a couple more huge rocks nearby, oh. so I went and hit them up. It's going to take a while to accumulate the resources I need to set up power, so instead, let me talk about the game in general for a bit. Okay. I'm not sure who first came up with the phrase, but I've seen it around. Factorio is a game where you kill aliens by building conveyor belts. Factorio is a sandboxy survival base building game. Uh, you actually win the game by launching a rocket into orbit. So it's actually a survival game. After that. When you play the single player game, usually something like winning or that accomplishing mean some achievements is the goal. Okay. In multiplayer cool. games, people oh, play for the fun of it. To build a giant base and see and learn from other players' tricks and habits. Yeah, it sounds fun. There is multiplayer that opens a rocket, up a whole so new door for, for me. A bit. You need to research the requisite technology, plus build a launch pad, a satellite, and a bunch of rocket parts. Three thousand different parts, actually. Wow. The research is at the heart of most of what you do in the game. The vast okay. majority of what you mine will go to research. Okay, with a so tiny research is a big part of it. For building armor, guns, turrets, and walls. You're not so much killing aliens by building conveyor belts as you are unlocking the secrets of rocket science by manufacturing science potions. Okay, cool. In order to do research, so it's all about construction, you need power, pretty much. labs, and research. And I think there's a little bit of combat, too. When you too. first start the game, you don't have power, no factories, and not even the ability to build factories, which are called assemblers in-game. Right. Luckily, you can build enough by hand and with a few resources that you start with to get going. Got it. To get started with power, I suggest one offshore water pump, one pair of underground pipes, one boiler, and two steam engines. The reason for the underground pipes is to make it easier to run around the area. One boiler powers two steam engines, so you don't need to worry about some funny ratio. Of All right, guys. Uh, that's pretty much how to get started with this game. I don't want to just sit here and watch this guy's video. This isn't supposed to be a reaction video. I just thought I'd kind of use it as a kind of thing to get us started here. So, I mean, that's pretty much the start of this game. So I know that was kind of slow paced and boring and I just thought I would try this out. I figured why not give this game a try and make a video off of it, off of like literally the very first time that I tried the game. So let me know what you guys think of this. If you play Factorio, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how addicted to you are because a lot of people tell me it's very addictive and it's a lot of fun to play. And if you don't and you checked out this video, let me know what you think of videos like this where me just kind of jumping into a new game and trying it out for the first time. Uh, make sure to leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can leave it a thumbs down if you didn't. I don't mind. Be honest about it. All right, guys. And I already talked about leaving a comment and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Mostly cover Clash Royale. Do a little bit of Hearthstone, Apex, a few other games here and there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a good night.